Okay, so today we're going to be looking at another 10 Wonder Kids and see how their careers have progressed um, across 10 years um, and see how they've developed as players and see how, yeah, they've performed at their, their clubs that they may have moved to or the clubs that they're currently at. <coughs> the first person we're going to look at is Pedri. He's now 29 years old. It's 111 caps for Spanish national team. He's got 28 goals, which is a pretty good record, to be honest. It's pretty nuts. Um, he's on 350k a week. His transfer value anywhere from 80 million to 235 million. He can play as wingers, but primarily plays as a centre mid <coughs> cent midfielder or a cam. Sorry. Um, his physical is extremely good. Extremely agile, pretty fast, very good balance, really good fitness. Um, yeah, really good pace as well, really good vision, can play as like a playmaker for sure. Um, 18 anticipation, his mentals are actually insane. Really good work rate, really good vision, really good off the ball movement, really good um, flair, which is like uh, skill tricks, how he can beat opponents, etc. Decision making is really good, really good concentration, composure, he's really good at dribbling, really like insane first touch. Uh, his long shots are also good, which is nice, really good at free kicks. Parsons extremely good, and his technique is extremely good. Yeah, I mean, he's just a, a completely world-class um, centre midfielder. With the current ability of 176 in this save, potential, he just like fully maxed out his potential. Um, let's see how he's done at Barcelona. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, he's insane. His best season seems to be... In terms of uh, stats, is 14 goals, 12 assists, 11 player of the matches, overall um, average rating of 7.6, which is insane, it's insanely high, especially like in a <coughs> in a top division. Almost like seems as though he doesn't even belong in the top division. He belongs in something higher than that. But um, even from like the current season in real life, he got 12 goals and 4 ass 14 assists. And averaged a 7.4 rating, which is nuts. And every every season since then, he's not gone below like a 7.2, which is really good. He's just a really solid player. So if you are able to buy him, which is going to be extremely hard, um, but if you are someone like in Newcastle or Man United or Man City, even a Real Madrid, but I don't think they'd sell them to Real Madrid. It wouldn't make sense. But um, if you are a major club with major money, then um, this is definitely someone to buy for sure because clearly he's one of the best players in the world for like 10 seasons and he becomes like one of the best players in the world as well in current ability so yeah that's definitely someone to buy the next player we're going to look at is Nico Williams um, he says that he can play anywhere across the right wing the left wing or striker but primarily as a winger especially since he's 5 foot 11 you kind of want him as a winger because his jumping reach is only 12 he's heading 13 um, he's not Amazing early, but um, his physicals are really good. He's really agile. Got really good natural fitness. Pretty strong as well. Um, really fast. Good stamina. Really good um, vision. Uh, very composed. High determination, which is always nice. Really good at anticipating. Um, really good off the ball movement. Good technique. Really good at taking penalties. Okay, that's like really high. Passing's good. Long shots really nice. Really good at heading, first touch is pretty good, really good at crossing, really good at dribbling, pretty decent at finishing as well. He's got 37 caps for the Spanish national team, 10 goals, which is pretty decent. So i 300k a week, um, transfer value of 134 million to 400 million, which is nuts. And I see how his career has progressed. So yeah, he was performing really well at Athletic Bilbao um, for a few seasons getting 14 goals, 9 assists in one season, then getting 7 goals, 1 assist in like, like half the season before he probably got, yeah, he got bought in January by Man City. But um, yeah, he was a really top performer for him, Athletic Bilbao, even at a young age. But then yeah, in January of 2025, he got bought by Manchester City, played a few games for them with a really high rating, but then didn't get given a chance for them, which is kind of surprising, considering they paid that much money for him. But um, yeah, he got bought by Bayern Munich for 84 million a couple of seasons later, and ever since then, I mean, his stats are pretty nuts. Um, averaging a, a 7 point, like, 3 pretty much, um, which is extremely high. 
um, 8 goals, 4 assists, 1 season, 10 goals, 7 assists, 7 goals, 6 assists, and then 9 goals, 5 assists, getting a decent amount of player of the matches. Um, yeah, I mean, he's an extremely solid player. His current ability is 170, so he's he's below Gabby, but he's like just world class. He's described as an elite winger, and I mean, he is definitely um, yeah, he's just world class. So if yet yeah, again you are one of the top clubs, you have a lot of money to spend. There's definitely somebody to look at. The next person we'll take a look at is Jordan Timber, who is at Ajax in real life. Um, he plays a centre back, a CDM, or a right back primarily. Uh, he's got 100 caps for the Dutch national team. He's on 250k a week at Liverpool. 81 to 245 million pounds is um his estimated transfer value. His physicals are really good. He's really agile, pretty fast, uh, very fast actually. His strength's not bad considering he, he's a right back, um, which is definitely where I play him. Being five foot ten, his jumping reach is only 12. Heading's 13, strength's 12. So yeah, I definitely play him as a right back primarily. Um, his mentors are insane, really composed, good concentration, good at decision making, um, his defensive positioning is really good, really good at working with the team, his work rate's good, um, his crossing's only 7, maybe I'd play him as a DM then, vision 13, passing 16, tackling 14, technique 16, uh, yeah I'd probably play him as a DM, because he only has 7 crossing which isn't good enough for an elite right back. He's only 5 foot 10, with not crazy jump and reach or um, heading. Like his heading's okay, but I'd, I'd want it higher. Like you could just get a 6, uh, a six foot 4 centre back, and um, his heading and jump and reach would be better, and you could get all of this, these kind of stats with a ball playing defender. But um, his marking is good, heading's good, first touch is really good. So I would probably play him as a maybe a ball winning midfielder, like as a DM. Probably, to be honest, because yeah, his crossing isn't good enough to be a right back. Unless he's defensive minded, but even then, I, I don't need really to do that. But yeah, okay, so his career, um, he did really well at Ajax, averaging a 7.25, let's say. Uh, got a 93 million pound move to Liverpool, where he's averaged like a 7.1 rating, which is pretty decent. And I mean, he's a regular starter for them. Plays around 30 games a season in the Prem for Liverpool. Um, even plays in the Champions League, played nine Champions League games this season for them. <clears throat> and his potential, his current ability is 170. Didn't quite reach his full potential, which is 175. But I mean, like he's just a world class elite centre back, is how he's described. The next person we're going to be taking a look at is Fabio Moretti. Pretty sure it's at Juventus in real life. Yeah, he is. But um, in this game, play him as a DM or a centre midfielder. He has made 22 appearances for the Italian national team, scoring three goals at 28 years old. So 135k a week at Atalanta, which sounds pretty high for Atalanta, to be honest. Um, but his transfer value is anywhere between 84 and 252 million. His physicals are really nice. Uh, 17 agility, pretty fast, really good balance. Decent natural fitness, could be a little bit higher, but yeah, he's pretty fast, good stamina, really good vision, really good leadership, um, very determined, good anticipation, good decision making, pretty decent off the ball movement, pretty decent work rate, good technique, good passing, decent tackling, um, really good first touch, really good dribbling. I play him as a box to box midfielder, I think. Dribbling 14, first touch 16. Work rate's decent, vision's decent. Off the ball movement was pretty good. Yeah, I'd probably play him as a box to box midfielder, I think. But, but yeah, he's, had a, he's developed a lot. Um, so at Juventus, um, he did pretty well. Um, got himself a £21 million move to Atalanta, where he's averaged like a 7.2, which is pretty decent, and he's been a like consistent starter for them playing pretty much every single game in the league. Don't know how he's got 39 appearances in the Syria. That makes no sense. But yeah, he played um pretty much every game for them. The next player we're gonna look at is Alfie Devine. Who's at PSG in this save. He's now 27 years old, he's made 32 appearances for the English national team. 
is on 200k a week at PSG, which is pretty nice. Uh, its potential value is anywhere between 107 million to 320. His physicals are insane. He's really fast, really agile, really good balance, really good fitness. Yeah, really fast, really good stamina. It's only five for eight, but that's kind of that's fine if you're a cam. Um, his work rate's really high, which is nice. His vision's really high. Really good off the ball movement. Good flair. Pretty composed. Good bravery. Really good at anticipating. And his technical is pretty nice as well. Really good passing. Good marking. Good technique. Really good long shots. That's really nice. Um, really good at dribbling. You could even play him as a box box midfielder if you wanted. But yeah, so he in real life is at Tottenham. Didn't really get much of a chance, got loaned out to Middlesbrough in the Championship, did pretty well for them. 4 goals, 7 assists and 16 appearances is really nice. Then got given a chance by Tottenham. Became a pretty regular starter for Tottenham for around 5 seasons. Um, doing pretty well, one season he got 11 goals, 4 assists. Then got himself a £76 million move to PSG. Where? He's only really just started playing for them. He's not doing too bad, he's got a 7.3 rating, 6 assists and 3 goals. But yeah, his potential ability is 179 in this save, and he got to 172, which means he is just like a world-class midfielder, elite midfielder, that could play for any team in the in the world, pretty much. The next player we're going to look at is Giovanni Reina. He's 29 years old in this save now, made 114 caps for the American national team, scoring 30 goals, which is pretty nice. It's an 175k a week at Dortmund, which I'm not sure what their wage structure is like, but that sounds pretty high. So the hundred, his um, potential transfer value is anywhere between 133 million and 400 million. His physical is yet again on nuts. He's pretty fast, very agile, really good natural fitness. Um, his balance is really good, yeah, really fast. His vision's really good, his work rate's good, off the ball is really good. His flair is nice, really composed, really good anticipation. His first touch is really good, he's really good at dribbling. I'm surprised he can't play like right wing as an inverted winger because he's. Is... Oh, okay, fair enough, he's right foot. Play um, left wing if you want as an inverted winger, <clears throat> which is maybe where I'd play him. He's got 12 crossing, 15 dribbling. Really good first touch, pretty decent finishing. Really good taking free kicks as well. Really good long shots, so yeah, maybe you could play him as a cam for sure. Really good part of the ball, really good technique. But yeah, at Dortmund, um, pretty much plays every single game. Averaging like a 7.1 rating. Um, getting around like 8 goals, 8 assists a season, pretty much. Averaging, yeah, 7.1 rating, playing really well. He's played for Dortmund for like the entire career. Um, his potential ability in the game is 159, which he maxed out. And yeah, he's just an elite attacking midfielder that could play for practically any team in the world and do completely fine. <clears throat> the next player we're going to look at is Ilya Zabani. I probably butchered that, but um, <laughs> but yeah, that's the 29-year-old uh, now in the save. He's made 105 appearances for the Ukrainian national team as a centre back. It's on 105k a week at RB Leipzig. Um, its potential transfer value is anywhere between 95 to 285 million. Um, his physicals are really nice. Um, six foot one, 15 strength, 16 jumping range. That's really nice. Yeah, really strong, really fast, really agile, really good balance, really good natural fitness. His defensive position is brilliant. Pretty decent work rate. Really good teamwork. Um, Really good decision making, concentration, composure, anticipation is really good. And he's not that aggressive, so he won't he won't get that many red cards. You'd hope, but um, his technicals aren't great. Um, eight dribbling is not bad, to be fair. Uh, first touch is ten, which isn't terrible, but you would like it a little bit, a little bit higher. Thirteen headings, decent. Thirteen markings, decent. Twelve passings, okay. Sixteen tackling is very good and 12 technique. I'd probably just play this guy as a central defender, I wouldn't play him as a ball playing defender. Um, his attributes go up to 151, which means he's, uh, I'd say, a leading Premier League player. Like He's 
definitely a solid player. So two seasons in, he got a move to Bayern Munich, where he stayed for two seasons and did. I mean, he performed well when he was given a chance. Got a 7.05 average rating, um, which is pretty decent. Then moved to Real Madrid for two seasons for 53 million pounds, and yet again played well when he did play. Um, before getting a 25 million move to Leipzig. So yeah, it's just like this guy never really got given a chance in the saves. He got bought by huge clubs, but then um, just went into their squad pretty much and played as a backup. But I mean, for like any club, like if you do actually just develop this guy, he clearly is fine. But yeah, he's played um, regularly for RB Leipzig for five seasons now. He's averaging like a 7.15 um, rating, which is pretty decent, and he plays pretty much every game for them. And yeah, like I said, he's um, 151 current ability in this save. 6 for 1, good jumping reach. Like, for a central defender, he's got all the perfect stats. Like, he's completely fine. But uh, as a ball playing defender, you definitely want maybe higher dribbling, higher passing, higher vision, probably. But um, yeah, as a just central, central defender, no nonsense centre back, completely fine player. Um, the next player we're going to look at is Alexis Tabidi. You can play as a striker, a right winger or a left winger, um, being 6 foot 2. His physicals are really nice, um, really fast, really agile, um, really, really good jumping reach, pretty good natural fitness, really fast, um, really good vision, really good off the ball movement, really good flair, very composed, um, pretty determined. He's got good crossing, good dribbling, good finishing, good first touch, really good at taking free kicks, really good long shots, good at passing, really good at taking penalties, and a good technique. He's made two caps for the French national team at 28. Um, he's on 73k a week at Bayern Leverkusen, um, and his potential transfer value is anywhere between 87 million and 260 million. In this save, he has reached a current ability of 150, which means like he's a leading Premier League player, his potential goes up to 157 in this save. Um, so he didn't fully maximise his potential, but he's still like an elite winger is how he's described. And he's still like definitely good enough for most teams in the world, for sure. Um, so he stayed at Bayern Leverkusen his entire career on this save, and he's been pretty decent. Um, definitely took a few years to develop, but once he has developed, clearly he's, he's doing brilliantly now. He's averaging like a 7.4 rate in the last three seasons. Uh, get nine goals, five assists, 12 goals, two assists, and nine goals, 10 assists for Bayern Leverkusen, who are like like a top four, top five German team for sure. And I mean, he's definitely a solid player that most teams in the world would definitely at least have in their squad, let alone their, their starting 11. Definitely a, like a competent player for pretty much any single team. Next we have Nuno Mendes, he's now 29 years old in this save, the left back, he can play left wing back as well. He's got 114 caps for Portugal, which is pretty nuts. Um, so 200k a week at Tottenham, potential transfer value of anywhere between 100 to 300 million. Um, his physicals are really nice, uh, really fast, really agile, good balance, really good fitness, yeah, really good pace, really good stamina, uh, really good anticipation, concentration, pretty well composed. Pretty decent vision, pretty good work rate. Positioning is pretty decent, maybe I want to maybe a little bit higher, but it's, it's fun. He's got really good crossing, really good dribbling, which is what you want in your wing backs. Um, good at taking corners as well, really good first touch. A good long throws as well, I've not really seen that stat that, that high before. But um, that's nice, uh, gives a different option, I guess. Um, pretty good at marking, could be, could be better a bit. Really good passing, really good tackling, really good technique. Um, in this save, he's reached a current ability of 162 out of 174, which means he's just a, a world-class left-back that should get into most teams in the world. And we'll see how he's done. Um, so he managed to get a £34 million move to PSG in real life. Um, and since then, he's been in and out of the squad, pretty much. Um, and he's definitely been developing a lot. He's not really had that high um, average ratings, but I think you know playing a lot of times for PSG must mean that you're clearly a good player. Uh, 
considering they're, they're a Champions League team, the best team in France by a mile, and they should always be a, a threat in the Champions League, which well, they should be, but they they always seem to underperform. But yeah, he, seemed, he had one really good season at PSG, we played like half the season for them, averaged a 7.34 rating, um, got a £47 million move to Tottenham, where he's been doing pretty okay, to be honest, it's not crazy, he's not even reached like a 7 average rating, but, and for a player of that current ability, that's kind of surprising, not really sure what's going on there, to be honest, but um, yeah, definitely a player with a lot of potential, um, doesn't seem like he's performed that well in this save. The next and um, final person we're going to look at in this video is Tom Roth. I probably pronounced that wrong, but um, this is another left back, or you can play him as a centre back as well because he's six foot four. I'd, I mean, I'll look at his stats quickly before I um, decide where I'd play him. But uh, yeah, can play left back, can play centre back, completely fine. 27 years old. It's not made an international appearance for Germany, which is kind of nuts considering he's a pretty good player. So uh, 150k a week at Borussia Dortmund. Um, transfer value of anywhere between 90 to 270 million pounds. Um, his physicals are really nice, like I said, six foot four. Really good jumping reach, 17. Really strong. Good stamina. Pretty fast. Pretty agile. Good balance. Um, pretty good anticipation. Good concentration. Good decision making. Good defensive positioning. Pretty decent work rate. Really good tackling. Pretty decent passing. Good marking, really good long throws as well, really good at heading, really good first touch, pretty good at dribbling, pretty good at crossing. Honestly, I mean, I'd prefer him as a centre back because, yeah, 6 or 4, nice jump and reach. You can play him as a ball playing defender, that's what I'd do. A, um, a ball playing centre back, sorry. Uh, to be honest, that's, that's what I'd do. But yeah, his current ability in the game is 158, he maxes potential out at Dortmund. Um, and he's described as a, <laughs> just only a fullback, but I mean he's a elite fullback that can be a centre back for sure, been 6 foot 4, but um, yeah he stayed at Dortmund his entire career, he's done pretty well, um, he was a regular starter for the first 5 seasons, um, averaging like a 7.15 rating probably, but I mean if you're a regular starter for Dortmund and the and you said Dutch League, in the German League, um, then clearly you're a very good player. Um, the last couple of seasons, maybe he got injured a bit, but um, I, I think this player could play for anybody. I would definitely buy him. Um, very competent player, um, sort of player that could, could play for anybody in the world, and I'd definitely just use him as a centre-back instead. But yeah, that is the last player we're going to look at in this video. If you enjoyed the video, um, leave a like, um, subscribe. If you want me to look at any specific players in upcoming videos, then comment who you'd like me to um, take a look at, and I will do that. Um, thanks for watching, and see you next time.